The crisis at Roxanne Road hasn't gotten better. It's gotten worse, in fact. Year after year, Justin Trudeau has let more illegal immigrants flow into this country, 50,000 a year in some cases. It was 60 illegal immigrants a day in the summer that I visited Roxanne Road. Now, I happened to go back to see what was going on amid the COVID crisis, the pandemic that has gripped the world. I wanted to know if Justin Trudeau finally said, all right, I've been woke enough, but it's time to put the safety and health of Canadians first. We're going to close down this illegal border crossing. That wasn't what was going on at all. In fact, I was able to get some actual video inside of the shed that the RCMP put up to triage these illegal immigrants that are coming in to this country. Now today, Justin Trudeau, who was 40 minutes late for a press conference on a pandemic, which is changing literally by the hour in this country, Justin Trudeau came and said that he was finally closing the borders to all foreigners and even Canadians that are symptomatic. We will be denying entry to Canada to people who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents. This measure will carve out some designated exceptions, including for air crews, diplomats, immediate family members of Canadian citizens, and at this time, U.S. citizens. Now I've been asking myself, what would have changed in terms of economic pain or even his woke credentials if he restricted border access weeks ago when he was told to by Canadians who were saying that there was no border control of people who were coughing while coming through customs. What would have changed outside of the fact that there would be fewer cases of the Wuhan coronavirus in Canada if he'd closed the borders a month ago than there is now, now that he's decided so many days into this worldwide pandemic that now is the time to flick the switch. Well, one switch, as far as I can tell, hasn't been flicked, and it's the one on Roxanne Road. I've reached out to the RCMP and I've reached out to several government departments who are in charge of dealing with this crisis. Now the RCMP got back to me and they said they needed to work on an answer for me. They say they won't be able to get back to me with an answer to my question. Are the RCMP finally turning people away at the border in light of the fact that Justin Trudeau says no foreigners are allowed into this country? My guess is mm, nothing much is going to be changing at Roxham Road. They're going to say that it's an American border and Americans with American passports are allowed into this country. And these folks, well, they don't really have much documentation, so they're just going to be allowed in. Now, this is just a guess because the RCMP have told me that they need more time to come up with an answer. So I sent the same request to the Department of Health, to the Department of Transport, to the Department of Public Safety, and Public Health actually got back to me. They said that, Kian, you've already reached out to the RCMP and they'll have an answer for you. Now, I thought that this was really strange. I reached out to the RCMP because they're the ones on the ground dealing with the situation, but I figured that they were following orders from somebody. I hoped that they were following orders some, from some sort of policymaker, someone who says, yeah, it's time to shut down the borders, especially the illegal border crossing. But that turned out not to be the case. The Department of Health says that I need to wait to hear back from the RCMP to figure out what kind of policy the government of Canada is acting on. That seems a little bit backwards to me. But nevertheless, I will wait. I will wait for the RCMP to get back to me to tell me whether or not Roxham Road has finally closed. There are so many illegal immigrants coming into Canada through that crossing. Illegal immigrants that at this point in the crisis have a very high likelihood of having the virus. The usual path of these illegal aliens is to land at an international airport near Washington. Now, from there, they take a regional flight up into New York State and then take a taxi, which I've witnessed myself as I was yelled at, uh, across an international border from one of these illegal alien traffickers driving in taxi cab. They take one of these cabs from a regional airport all the way up to Roxham Road. Now, that is a lot of contact. That's a lot of airports to be at, and they're coming from another continent on top of that. They have no paperwork in some cases. They have no health background in some cases. It is of the utmost importance to Canadians that Roxham Road is finally closed down. It should have been closed down years ago, but at this point, in the global pandemic, every hour counts. It is time to shut down Roxham Road. For Rebel News, I'm Kean Bexting. Thanks for tuning into our coverage here at Rebel News. Now be sure to click the notification bell at the bottom of this video on YouTube. If you do that, YouTube will notify you when the news is happening. Be sure to do that so you can stay up to date with this global pandemic.